So in this section, we're going to be covering macros on your Express console. Uh, what a macro is on uh, the console is basically a, uh, a one-touch command that allows you to program in keystrokes that you would do uh, like repetitive keystrokes that you can program into a single button or a single command. So uh, a macro is kind of like a shortcut. Uh, so in this section we're going to talk about uh, recording a macro and then also playing back a macro. If you remember uh, from the basic uh, portion we talked about the layout of your console, there were four keys on the desk dedicated to macro playback. So this is when we're going to start to access those. Uh, the other key we're going to want to be uh, concentrating on, or the other keys actually, are the learn key and the enter macro key. That's how you start the learning process and how you terminate the learning process of a macro. Um, so let's just uh, do an example, a real quick example of a macro. The first thing I want to do is I want to hit learn and my command prompt is going to say uh, select the macro to learn and then press enter. In this case I want to learn, uh, let's just pick macro 1 because it's the first one there. I'm going to type 1 on the keypad and enter. Now something to remember. Notice we have in red a uh, flashing learning macro one. It's important to remember that any button you push on the console from now on is going to be recorded into the macro, including clear, enter, and anything else. The only thing that's not recorded into macros are movements of the fader, so you have to remember that. So uh, let's just do a real simple command. I'm going to say channel one through ten full. Now Notice the console actually did the command, so I can see the desired result, but I'm still learning the macro, so I can't now test it out or do anything. I ha what I have to remember to do is to terminate the learning command of the macro. Now conveniently, my enter macro button is flashing, uh, which means that that is the button I now need to push to stop the learning process. So I'm going to go ahead and push enter macro, and now it's done learning. Now that macro is available to me for, uh, for access. Now, the way I access the macros, the first three have their own keys right here. So I'm going to release these channels and I'm going to hit M1. And what M1 did was it played back the keys exactly as I programmed. Channel 1 through 10 at full. And you can see rather quickly channels 1 through 10 came up to full. Uh, the console has the capacity of 2,000 macros. Well, there's only M1, M2, and M3 here. Uh, and then the M star is the key that you use to access macros 4 through 2000. So if I have uh, macro 100, I would simply hit M star 100, enter, and that would execute macro 100. But the key things to remember here is while you're learning a macro, it records every single keystroke and you have to terminate the learning command by hitting enter macro when you're finished. And that is how you record and play back macros on your Express Console.